The hanger is supported using the rectangular pin determine the required thickness T of the hanger and dimensions A and B if the suspended load is P equals 60 kN. The allowable tensile stress is 150 MPa, the allowable bearing stress is 290 MPa, and the allowable shear stress is 1.5 MPa. So here's the problem, the reverse problem for uh, determining the maximum force P. Now, for this problem, it's just the opposite way. It, you are given the P and you ask to find the dimension of T, A, and B. Okay? So the figure is the same, so let's move down here. Okay, so for the thickness T, you know that. So if you haven't had a chance to watch the video that went over this problem, I put the link in the upper right corner here so that you can go over, go and take a look at that video. Basically, this problem and the previous problem is the same. You just if you know one of, if you know how to solve one of the problems, you know how to solve the other one because you just plug in the values. They just switch. Okay. Right, so for the thickness, the tensile stress is equal to force divided by area. So the force is given at 60 times 60,000 newtons divided by the area, which is 75 times T. Up here, so Y is 75 times T. Okay, so this is the problem for finding maximum P. Maximum P. So for the tensile stress, so you pull this down and here's the here's the thickness of this and here's the length. So the area of that one is six seventy five mm times the thickness equals the tensile stress. Okay. So you saw for T, uh, you got five point three three mm. Now for the dimension of P, using shear stress, shear equals shear stress equals shear force divided by area. And back to the figure, you have two C forces. One on this side and the other one on the other side, okay? So that's why in this case, I have to divide by 2. And what is the area? The area is 10B. So again, C force is the force. C stress is, uh, she is a result of C force along the plane. So the C force is parallel to this plane. So what is that area? So this area is this one so the length is B and the thickness or the width is 10 because that the uh, thickness is indicated here because along the plane okay I don't know if you can visualize it okay so you have 10 B okay 10 B equals 125 so for B you got 24 mm now for a dimension of A use the bearing stress so equals to bearing force divided by area again for bearing force, you have one on this side and the other one on the other side. So that's why I have to divide by 2. What is the area? The area is 24A. Why? Because that area is this portion down here. So this side times this side give you this area. Okay. I don't know if you can visualize it. I'm, I, I'm saying this many times, but I hope you understand it. Otherwise, just take what I did. Okay. So you have this area, okay? This area, so the width is A and the length is B, and B is what we just found previously. Okay, so you have uh, 24A and equals to the bearing, the allowable bearing stress, which is 290. So for A, you got 4.31 mm. Okay, so that is the answer for this problem. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.